what's going on guys so all right so uh i about a, about two months ago i did a video on how to hand pollinate watermelons cucumbers squash you know anything in the squash family um cantaloupe honeydew all that good stuff right unfortunately for me we had a very windy day and i was using a new camera and i didn't have the right filter on the camera to block the wind and all the noise right so all of the all of the audio was trash right so at this point instead of just scrapping the entire video and i didn't find out until like a week or two later after i uh, after i had already uh pollinated everything so what i'm gonna do today is i'm going to show you the hand pollination portion that we did and then i'm going to give you an update as to what the melons the melons look like after we hand pollinated everything all right so if y'all just sit right there oh and before we get started make sure you like subscribe do all that good stuff hit the notification bell so you guys will know when we put out our uh next video which is right now we try to shoot for about twice a week every wednesday and every sunday so make sure you do all three of those things and let's go ahead and get started so we have where to go i just saw it just a second ago oh there it is so we have here for those of you who don't know that we can call it fruit set all right this is the fruit set that would be for lack of better terms or you know not trying to offend anyone today but this would be considered a female right and this would be let me see if I can get a better angle this would be a male you notice the difference the female and the male right the female actually has what looks like a small version of the fruit that you're actually growing right beneath the flower, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna get the pollen from this flower to that flower, okay? And the way that we're gonna do that today is with this here, a makeup brush. Now this makeup brush, it, this isn't nothing fancy, it's just a, a basic makeup brush that I picked up from the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store or something like that. And I'm gonna use this thing to collect pollen off of this flower and transfer it to the female flower or to the fruit set, just like this painter. So all I'm gonna do guys is take my makeup brush, find me a male flower. Now first, I want you to pay attention, right? There's no pollen on the end of this brush. There's nothing on the end of this brush, right? So I use this brush frequently. I use it for all of my melons, right? So there's nothing there, okay? I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna come into my male flower. It just came off, I, I felt it when it attached from the vine, but it's cool, it's cool. It is, this job is to pollinate, right? It doesn't need to stay on the vine. Just take my brush, stick it in there, twist it around, and then now you can see just a little bit of pollen on the tip. I'm hoping that you guys can see that right there. Just a little bit of pollen, pollen on the tip. Now, I don't feel comfortable with that amount. I want more, so I'm gonna come down here to another flower, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stick my, I'm gonna put my brush inside the. the in the center of the flower. Twist it around. And now I have a little bit more pollen. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I'm gonna just take it now and gently transfer it to the female, right? I'm gonna do the same thing without, and try not to let that fruit set come off of the vine. Now typically, like I said, I get these brushes from like the 99 cent store, the Dollar Tree. And you see, I already put some of it in there. There's less on the brush now than what was up there before, right? Um, typically I get these brushes from the 99 cent store. Or the 
Dollar Tree and I buy like, I just buy a bunch of them. And the reason why, you gotta, excuse me guys, uh, for some reason, you know, the older I get, the more I develop allergies, <laughs> right? So now my, my nose is running, my eyes are running. Go catch it! <laughs> Funny. For some reason, my nose and my eyes are running, but we're gonna get through this either way. So, so after our successful hand pollination, this is what we did. This is what we came up with. Oh, you see that? You see how that just popped out? But this is what we came up with. Now, it's about the size of a golf ball. I mean, it's a golf ball, a softball, but ripe is ripe. So we're gonna use this moment as a teaching moment on how to identify when your Canadopal honeydew is ripe. So last year, well, last year we had honeydew that did the exact same thing. Some of them only got as big as this, some of them got full size. But the ones that were this size, we didn't think they were right. But the key to knowing when your cantaloupe or honeydew is ripe is when you when it does just what it did. It, it, when you, you don't even have to pull it. I didn't even pull it. It just came, the, um, the stem just came right off, right? And also if you smell it, it smells sweet like a cantaloupe should smell. So like if you crack, if you cut open a cantaloupe from the store and you can, you get that, that first whiff of that cantaloupe, the, the sugar and everything inside, that's how it should smell coming off the vine, right? So that's it. That's what hand pollination will get you. Um, I, I think this, th these two, this, this is actually one of three. The other one was over here, but I, we ate, <laughs> we ate that one like three days ago. So this is two of three, and then we have three of three right there. And look, I think, yeah, this one already came off the vine. It's already off. It had detached on its own. So now we have these two small cantaloupe that we are going to enjoy. Uh, actually, I'm gonna probably hide and put them in my pocket <laughs> and try to eat them by myself. <laughs> so like I said, the, the key about growing melons, uh, cantaloupe and honeydew is ripe is ripe. They may not be very big, but they're ripe. And they, oh my God, they smell so good. They smell. It smells so good. Uh, it's, we had one the other day. Like I said, this was we had three growing on this one plant. So I saw another one back there. We had three growing on this one plant, and they stayed green for a long time. And then within the last two or three days, one came out one morning, and they were this color. And um, I went to move it, and it came right off the vine. I was like, oh, they're ready. They are. They ready, Daddy. So. That's it, so these things are ready. No matter how, how small they are, ripe is ripe. So let me go ahead and show you guys the, um, the watermelon that we did. So on the same day, day that I hand pollinated the cantaloupe that you saw in the video, I hand pollinated this one, and that one. The rest of these are doing their own thing. They've been, the, um, the little bee buddies have been busy. But this is what, this is the result of hand pollination here and then when you look over here by this cantaloupe over here let me just take you over there and show you real quick this is the one that we actually I actually showed you that I was doing in the video in the video now this one has been growing by itself for the entire time and you see it's starting it's still green It's still green, but it's starting to turn yellow, which means it, eventually, probably in the next couple of weeks, this thing is gonna be, you know, good for picking, right? It's probably gonna just fall off and roll down the hill or something. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's, that's what I have for you for hand pollination. Um, unfortunately, this whole video couldn't be thrown together in one video because of all the wind noise and all that stuff. So, but you guys get the gist, right? You saw us hand pollinate this one um, and then we pollinated some others including the two um, cantaloupe that I just picked and those are ready already and this one is gonna be ready soon and the watermelon I'm like eh, no, no rush no rush just let them grow do their thing the leaves and everything on it right now looks kind of rough look kind of bad on the watermelon on the, the watermelon plants only because today got up to 113 and for some reason we didn't get to get out here to water this morning 
so they're suffering. They're, they're, they were under a lot of stress this morning um, all day until we just got out here to water. Um, but they're starting to bounce back from, because when we came out here earlier, it was looking pretty bad. But they're, they're bouncing back really well. So um, that's, <laughs> that's it. For what uh that's all that i have for you guys for today so um don't forget comment like subscribe hit the notification bell uh hit us in the comments let us know how if you're growing honeydew watermelon anything like that and how how your grow season is going so far all right and i'll talk to you guys on the, on the uh in the next video all right so y'all take care peace out